let's look at this a packet comes from PC2 it comes all the way now imagine you are this router is a big router and you're sitting inside this router or imagine that you're a small person that you can fit inside the router when you're sitting here a packet comes all the way on this interface and you're sitting here and you're looking at it is the packet goes in toward you or is going out of course from this interface the packet comes toward you it comes in then on this interface the packet moves in this direction is it going in or is going out if I'm sitting inside this router and I look at the packet I see that someone is going toward this direction it means the packet goes out let me go to here get a pen uh, get change the color okay now look a packet comes all the way you are sitting here so when you look at this packet you see that packet moves toward you once the packet is in then from this interface the packet goes out right so always when you want to decide about the direction of the packet imagine that you're sitting inside the router then when you're inside the router look at these doors these interfaces one is here one is here and one is here so someone when comes from here is toward you is coming in when someone goes toward this direction is going out okay so we go back to router 2 and here I say when the packet goes out apply this interface when the packet goes out so now PC2 should not be able to ping that as you can see here it's not able destination host unreachable success rate zero percent now the packet is dropped PC3 also is not able to ping let's do the same thing for PC3 as you can see here PC3 also is not able to ping but if I go to PC1 will I be able to ping PC1 not router 1 PC1 here I ping 192.168.2.20 I will be able to ping so PC1 will be the only PC that can ping that interface now one thing about uh, access standard access control list and number access control list the access control list that I just now configured is number access control list why is it number because when we go to router 2 uh, this PC here, PC2. Here is router 2. When you go to router 2, you see that here you have a number. When you put a number here, this access list becomes a number access list. Now, the problem with this number access list is that if you make a mistake in writing the rules, for example, you make a mistake here and you have uh, you have typed this one wrongly and you don't want this this line and you want to drop this line if you want to drop this line you have to according to Cisco routers you have to type no right no then X uh, access list the number of access list was 25 right 25 question mark do you see anything else after that no meaning if I type this I have dropped the whole access list now imagine if you have typed thousand lines in your access list and you have made a mistake at line 999 so if you want to edit it there is no way to do that you have to drop the whole access list so it's terrible now to solve this problem or to avoid such mistakes and problems always use an editor meaning uh, for example use uh, notepad or any other editor that you have Microsoft Word, WordPad just type in that editor all the commands that you want uh, edit them uh, configure them anything that you want to do on them do and then after that copy and paste them in your command prompt in the router this is a better way
another uh, solution to that is name access list that I will talk about them in uh, next video because this video has become too long and I think it's uh, very tiring for you as well so that's all about uh, the access list uh, uh, standard access list so uh, we come to the end of uh, today's uh, today's topic uh, today we talked about uh, access control list. Uh, we learned what access control lists are and uh, how they work and how we can create a basic standard access control list. We learned how access control lists, uh, a standard access control list work. Basically, we learned that they work based on source IP address. This is very important to remember about access standard access control list. And then we learned that standard access control list should be configured on the router and interface closest to the destination. This is very important and you always highlight this. You always have to remember this one. The references that I used for today's uh, lecture were uh, was uh, were these three books if you want uh, to uh, refer to some books to read about this access list I recommend uh, these books so that's all about the access control list I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching